those of us who've been around the block a few times, no pun intended, remember the days when cars were more than just a means of transportation. They were a statement. A statement of style, innovation, and sometimes questionable functionality. So, let's take a trip down memory lane and look at 11 car features from the 50s to the 80s that, for better or worse, did not stand the test of time. Remember when the front of a car was more like a sofa than a pair of bucket seats? Bench seats were the norm in most cars until the late 80s. They allowed for the cosy seating of three people, making it a sociable and intimate space. The bench seat was particularly popular with young couples, who found the closeness it offered quite advantageous. But as car design evolved towards individual comfort and safety, hello, centre consoles and seat belts, the bench seat slowly faded into obscurity, leaving us with fond memories of those cosy drives. In the 1950s and 60s, several car manufacturers experimented with in-car record players. Imagine cruising down the boulevard with Elvis Presley's latest hit playing on a vinyl record right in your car. However, as romantic as it sounds, the reality was less smooth. These players were prone to skipping on bumpy roads, and the advent of eight-track tapes and eventually cassette players quickly made the in-car record player a quaint piece of history. In the late 1950s, Chrysler introduced the Highway Hi-Fi, a record player designed specifically for its cars. This player used special 7-inch records, which were smaller than the standard 12-inch vinyl, and played at 16 and 2 quarter revolutions per minute, half the speed of the conventional LPs. This was intended to maximize playtime and reduce the effects of road vibrations. The idea was revolutionary, allowing drivers and passengers to enjoy their favorite tunes in a format that, at the time, was cutting edge. The selection of music available for these players was curated by Columbia Records and included a variety of genres, from classical to rock and roll. Owners of the Highway Hi-Fi could enjoy the likes of Beethoven, Frank Sinatra, and yes, Elvis Presley, all from the comfort of their car. It was a luxury feature, marketed towards an audience that appreciated both music and the novelty of such a device. However, despite its innovative design, the in-car record player faced several practical challenges. The issue of records skipping on uneven roads was a significant drawback. Although the system was engineered to minimize this, no amount of innovation could completely counteract the effects of a bumpy road or a sharp turn on a spinning record. In the late 50s and early 60s, it seemed like car designers were competing to see who could make the biggest and most extravagant tail fins. Inspired by the jet age and America's fascination with space travel, these fins were seen on models from Cadillacs to Chevrolets, adding a touch of space age glamour to the road. While they were a bold fashion statement, their practicality was, well, questionable. As trends shifted towards more efficient and aerodynamic designs, the tail fins became a charming yet impractical relic of a bygone era. Pop-up headlights were the epitome of cool in automotive design from the 60s to the early 90s. These hidden lights, which would majestically rise from the hood when needed, gave cars a sleek and mysterious look. They were particularly popular in sports cars, adding to their aerodynamic and futuristic feel. But like many good things, they came with their own set of problems, mechanical failures, costliness to repair, and changes in pedestrian safety regulations. So while we might miss the winking charm of these lights, we understand why they're no longer around. In the 70s, car designers, perhaps inspired by the era's disco fever, came up with the idea of swivel seats. These seats, primarily found in luxury cars, could rotate to the side, making it easier to get in and out of the vehicle. While they were a novel idea, especially for those wearing the era's fashionably tight clothing, they were not particularly safe in the event of a crash. As safety standards tightened, the swivel seat danced its way out of automotive history. For those who grew up driving cars from the mid-20th century, the manual choke was a familiar and somewhat quirky feature. Before the days of fuel injection systems, engines needed a richer fuel mixture to start when cold. Enter the manual choke, a lever or knob on the dashboard that the driver had to manipulate before starting the engine on a chilly morning. It required a delicate touch, 
and sometimes a bit of trial and error to achieve the perfect balance of air and fuel. Modern cars have automatic chokes, making cold starts a breeze, but there's a certain satisfaction in having mastered the art of the manual choke. Vent windows, those small triangular windows at the front of the main side windows, were a common sight in cars from the 50s to the 70s. They allowed for a flow of fresh air into the car while keeping the rain and wind out. Drivers and passengers could adjust them to create the perfect breeze, and they were particularly handy in the days before widespread air conditioning. However, as cars evolved, the need for vent windows diminished, and they were gradually phased out in favour of larger one-piece windows. While they may have disappeared, they remain a fond memory of simpler times when controlling the breeze was an art form. In the 1980s, having a car phone was a symbol of prestige and technological advancement. These bulky devices were often mounted on the centre console, complete with a handset and a cord. While they were undoubtedly innovative, they came with their fair share of limitations. The cost of installation and usage was exorbitant, the signal quality was questionable, and they were far from being truly mobile. As technology advanced, cell phones became smaller, more affordable, and ultimately replaced the car phone, relegating it to the annals of automotive history. Carburetors were an integral part of most cars' engines until the late 80s. These mechanical devices were responsible for mixing air and fuel in just the right proportions to power the engine. Carburetors required regular tuning and adjustment, and gearheads took pride in their ability to tune a carb for peak performance. However, as fuel efficiency and emission standards became increasingly important, fuel injection systems took over. Carburetors faded into the background, but their legacy lives on in the hearts of classic car enthusiasts who still appreciate the simplicity and roar of a well-tuned carbureted engine. Rolling down a window used to be a literal workout. In the days before power windows, drivers and passengers had to turn a crank or handle to open or close each window manually. It was a slow and sometimes strenuous process, especially if you had to reach across the car to adjust a window on the opposite side. Despite the inconvenience, there was a tactile satisfaction in feeling the window's resistance as you cranked it up or down. Power windows eventually became the norm, bringing convenience to our fingertips. But those who remember the era of manual windows cherish the memories of an era when roll down the window meant more than just pressing a button. Ah, the cassette deck, a staple of car audio systems from the 70s through the 90s. Before CDs and digital music, the cassette tape reigned supreme as the portable music format of choice. In the car, it was all about making mixtapes, carefully curating your favourite songs, and painstakingly rewinding or fast-forwarding to find the right track. The cassette deck brought music to our road trips and daily commutes, but it couldn't withstand the digital revolution. CD players, MP3 players, and now streaming services have taken over, relegating the trusty cassette deck to the annals of history. Yet, for many, the memories of crafting the perfect driving playlist on a cassette tape are as vivid as ever. These features evoke memories of a time when cars were a symbol of freedom and a canvas for creativity. And while today's cars might be safer, more efficient, and more technologically advanced, there's something undeniably charming about these quirky features of the past. Do you remember any of these features? If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.